are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing wonderful. So I am back with another video. And if you want to see me go from this to this, then keep on watching. Okay, guys, so I'm using this NYX primer. And I really do like this primer. Now, this one is really tacky, so it does tend to dry up. And if I look like this, like if I open my eyes it does tend to crease so I have to let it kind of dry with my eyes closed I'm using this concealer as a base just because I want a nice clean canvas to draw on okay guys so I'm going to use this stay matte um by Rimmel London so I think I'm going to get to get, um, so I think I'm going to do a get to know me tag so you guys so you ladies can get to know me a little bit more um and if you want, you guys can leave some comments down below if you want to ask me different questions, certain questions. Yeah. Now, or something about my makeup that I like to do or something. I don't know. If I'm, if I have kids, if I'm married, if I'm single, if I'm living under a box, anything, you know, you can ask me anything. Okay, guys, so now that I have all that set up, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the Carly Bible palette. I know I use it all the time, but it's the best. I'm going to use the same shade that I used last time, this one right here. I really love it, and I feel like it's such a great transitioning color. And, of course, my brush that's always dirty. All right, so I'm jumping into this ugly-ass palette, like I said before. This one right here, and I'm going to put that on my crease and make it a little darker and all that. A yellow um, transitioning shade, it probably would have gone a lot better. But since this look, it doesn't really matter if I use yellow or not. Did I just say yellow? I think so. Whatever. Alright, so. But yeah, guys, you guys can ask me anything. And I think I want to start doing vlogs. Just to take you on my days. You know, I don't really go anywhere interesting. But yeah, I just feel like doing that. So you guys can have something to watch, entertainment, blah, blah. Just tell them I'm going to use this one right here. And a thinner brush. I just want this one to really darken up my my crease because today we're going for a tough tough look well not tough but like we're going to go for a strong strong look i hate when it goes down the sun goes down so so early honestly it's barely six never mind it's not six it's only <laughs> it's nine uh anyways but i hate when it, it the sun goes down you know it's like man it's like why you know way and i'm using that same nyx palette um or concealer palette i'm gonna be taking this one actually i'm gonna take no this one first i'm gonna take this one and then i'm gonna jump into that one anyways um i could have just put these shades on top but if you really want the really bright effect of the um of your shimmer eyeshadows um always use concealer guys concealer helps you a lot if you mess up on the eye on the on the if you mess up on the eyeliner concealer if you mess up on your eyebrows concealer blemish concealer concealer is life concealer is key concealer okay i need to stop <laughs> and yeah all right guys so after this i'm going to be using a different packing brush let me find so when i'm doing this i'm just kind of sweeping it like that because i want it to really blend Now it looks really messy right now because it's supposed to look like that. Now I'm going to use this black shade. Okay guys, so I just put on this black right here and then I put an eyeliner and then I put some lashes on. Um, I didn't record the black because it makes me nervous and I feel like I'm really going to mess up. Almost messed up, but I didn't quite get there. Both of my two favorite um, um, primers. So the wet and what the wet and wow. Oh my gosh. You suggest this pore primer though i feel like if you're on a budget you're really gonna do the job and if you're looking for a higher end for professional 
Um, it's a really good one. I actually bought the little travel size, the smaller size, just because I needed to know if it was actually a good one. And I really do like it. So I did get a lot of um, questions asking me why don't why does my foundation look lighter than my regular skin tone? So the reason why is because foundation tends to oxidize, and when it oxidizes, and I use the color that's that matches my skin tone, it tends to turn orange. And I don't want to be walking around like an Oompa Loompa. So I just wear a lighter foundation with the setting powder and it looks like my color out in the daylight. Right now I don't have a really good lighting so it maybe look like a little lighter color. I'm going to add some color correcting which is the orange and green. And then my concealer which is the yellow corrector. And then my foundation. Okay, so now that I just color correct, I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild foundation. Maybelline. I'm taking the, the Fit Me foundation, Matte and Poreless. I'm just putting that in the places where I want extra coverage. As I bought this new face wash, oh my gosh, it was probably like the worst idea to buy a new one because my skin works. My skin's not used to it. Um, Okay, so I forgot to wet my sponge, so I'm just wetting it with some rose water. I actually made this one myself. <laughs> That's why it looks all ugly and it's in the perfume bottle. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I used some rose water. I boiled the rose petals and then I put some aloe, aloe vera. And then uh, I applied some coconut oil to give me some moisture and some other things that I don't know what I used. For. Okay, guys, so... Um, I need you guys to ask me some questions, like, on my comments. I want to respond to at least one of you. So I want to give a huge shout out to my sister and to Alex. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for your support, for sharing my video, and all that. Honestly, I, I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart, from all my heart. I really do appreciate it, guys. Um, I really do like being really highlighted. The... The light hits from up top makes me look snatch, girl. And I'm taking my foundation with the pointed, with the pointed top. There you go. Um, I'm just blending everything out. Now this one is a really um, thick concealer, um, which I will use airspun for. You guys already know my nose needs to be snatched underneath my lip. So you know, I'm trying to be trompuda. I'm taking a small stippling brush, guys, and I'm just going to blend everything through. This is why I love doing my, my eyeshadow first because um, I don't have to worry about so much fallout. My setting powder, you guys already know, it's Maybelline. Um, and I'm going to use this brush right here. This is the Ultimate Blending Brush by e.l.f. So taking this e.l.f. palette, I'm going to go ahead and use that one right there. Today I'm doing no blush. So I'm going to do a kind of like an orangey type bronzer. It's not really a bronzer. This is more like, like a bl blush. But... So I'm going to take this Makeup Revolution palette. I'm going to use that one right there. Um, highlighting brush. I'm taking some of this highlighter. Some on my inner tear duct. My inner tear duct. My tear duct. And then my brow bone, of course on top of my brow so my eye looks really my eyebrow looks really arched okay and then some on my nose of course I like to blend it out with my finger because it does tend to get really tense then I like to put a small little line down my the bridge of my nose um wet and wild cat suit got it Gaudy, um, video v-neck. I 
so hey guys if you guys are watching this you guys are at the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys really do like this um makeup look um i'm gonna get up close and personal so you guys can see um the end results and all of that stuff Right, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate you guys and I'll see you back on my next video.